हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ पावर ऑटोमेट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ कैन वी लूप ऑन ईच रो ऑफ एक्सेल एंड नेक्स्ट वी विल सी हाउ टू रीड डेटा फ्रॉम डिफरेंट सेल एंड दिस डेटा असाइन टू द वेरिएबल एंड नेक्स्ट वी विल सी हाउ टू राइट डेटा इन डिफरेंट सेल सो दिस डेटा इट कैन बी वेरिएबल वैल्यू ऑल्सो और इट कैन बी सम कैलकुलेशन और सम ए पी आई डेटा ऑल्सो सो सो दिस वीडियो विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो हेयर यू कैन सी माई स्क्रीन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अ न्यू वर्क फ्लो सो क्लिक ऑन दिस एंड give the name what you want like excel and click on create okay so now our workflow is ready so for that click on this so open and uh, so for that first of all we have to launch uh, launch excel so take this action and drag and drop over here so launch excel with a blank document or uh, our already created a uh, worksheet so here i am using i have already created a workbook so this is the my workbook so i i will use this okay now here give the path here this is the my excel excel path and click uh, here uh, one output variable is created this is a variable produced this is a excel instance and click on save now here i am using i use another action like uh, in this set active excel workbook worksheet sorry so drag and drop over here and here you can use uh, index and name here i want to use name so so here my this is my excel and my excel sheet name is fruits so i give this name go, go back here name is fruits and click on save the next action we will perform read from excel so read data this is the read data basically uh, read read from excel workbook so here iterative uh, here Uh, here I'm select this values from a range of cells. Okay, so start column. Start start column is one. Okay. Uh, go back one. And start row also one. Here end column. So go go back on. Excel and count one, two, three, four. Okay, so four column is four and column is four. Four and and row. So sometimes we don't know how much row we have. So for that, for example, here I'm using one only. Just wait. So for that, how we handle? So we are. using another action for that i am using this action get first free row so drag and drop over here and column is one okay here you can see uh, variable produce first free on column free row on column click on save and go back edit and here i am using 
that uh, output variable like free row so click on this variable and first free row on column minus one so always it uh, take first free like uh, that uh, free row it will take so that uh, uh, suppose i have five five row so it it take a uh, six so six is empty okay so it will take the that that one also so for that i give the minus one also uh, and one more thing here uh, i'm selecting this uh, first line range uh, contains so for that it's skip a first uh, first header also first header so it can skip first column okay column name click on save and i use sec i want to use a variable so set variable here this is the counter counter for each row so here i give the two because it's uh, start from zero okay now take for each loop this one take and drag and drop over here so here we use our excel sheet okay click on save and one more action we use close excel this one so drag and drop and okay so here before closing Excel, so we want to save my document. So click on save and here. And next, uh, right. Excel. Okay. Here, one. This was already set so no need to change anything in column this is only for example i you i want to write a one only so here we have created a variable like counter so another we have to create it to take this action drag and drop over here is enter and here yeah, click on variable counter double click on this and this plus one so increase the our count okay click on save so here we we will do here uh, I have given the first row. So here we use our counter variable. Okay. okay now looks good. Click on save. Let's test. Is working or not? Open. Yeah, now working. Here you can see here write all the one because I here you can see I give the right value is a one. So that's why all the in the number as a one. Okay. 
So go back on our workflow. First of all, let's close it. Workflow, click on save. Action. I take uh, convert to convert text to number. This action drag and drop over here. Name as a if you want like a our uh, current item here and we have to give in the column name so square back bracket and single colon under this we have to write the co column name so our excel sheet column name is first is uh, first is quantity copy and it over here like this and i want change this name also so good now done click on save other and another for another column so i have to take one more convert text to number uh, this click on set variable so here current item double click on this again we write the square bracket and single colon and our column name okay here yeah, this is the click on save and next calculation so for that another set variable we have to use set variable drag and drop over here and this is i give the name as a variable name as a total and here so what can we do we can we do first uh, variable and multiple sign and second variable, second variable so we have to give like this okay for uh, one variable in multiple sign and second variable and first and last uh, percent sign and click on save now one more thing here i'm using uh, for example i have used this but now i'm using my variable that i have created a created like total so give the variable name and click on save here now test yes here you can see going well now check here you can see all calculation is perfect yes so let's check if the video was useful for you so please like and subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends and I will see you in the next video with new topic on Power Automate. So, thank you.